Let me tell you about uh, the question you asked me uh, yeah. about uh, uh, this restaurant. And um, we, um, uh, I, I was very successful in a pizzeria, mm -hmm. and that's when I met Michael. And um, he sold me my very first <coughs> touch screen, point of screen mm -hmm. system. And <coughs> excuse me, okay. <coughs> that's how we became friends. And then we became business partners, and uh, I taught him uh, uh, how to do force feeding through the POS system. He, I, uh, he taught me about his end of the business, and so we made a very good marriage there. Mm -hmm. And um, so when uh, uh, my wife came to me at the time, and we had seven pizzerias, and we wanted to expand, she says, I'm leaving you mm -hmm. unless you sell the restaurants. So I, I said, look, I, I can't have this. I mean, we've got four children. I said, let's, let's do it. So we were going to do something she wanted to do. So I sold the restaurants, and she took the money. The next day, the money was in the account. She took it and left me with the kids. Mm -hmm. So now I have no job. I have uh, a business I'm about to get into with Michael and, and Thomas. Uh, we had done preparation of the food and cooking, and we were going to start this new restaurant. Well, um, we signed a lease to start Pali Pali uh, in this beautiful complex, and it began to rain, and it rained in Houston for 70 days non-stop so they couldn't build it we had signed the lease already and um, finally uh, the, the delay was about nine months and we had a loan from the bank and everything was okay we, we were going to build this amazing restaurant that would you'd feel like you were on the plane of Africa when, once you entered inside mm -hmm. so we had paid an architect uh, $45,000 to build this two-story restaurant and it was going to have this beautiful tree in it and lions and uh, it was from, a, from a, a, a vision that I had when I was a young boy my school took me on a safari as one of our field trips one, day, one week we went for a week and uh, during that time we saw a whole pride of lions capture their prey and eat underneath this tree and I took this picture and I, th I thought to myself you know one day I'm going to I'm going to do something with that tree and the lions and I didn't know I was going to be in the restaurant business but I've always wanted to pursue building a restaurant with the tree in the middle and the lions around it and so on so we had the money to do that and Michael and Thomas my, my partner said this is fantastic this is a great idea we're going to open this restaurant we don't want any animals on the walls but mm. we can do the, the you know the understanding of that it's, it's safari you're going to walk on the plane of Africa the minute you walk into the restaurant it's going to be very uh, uh, up art modern kind of feel mm -hmm. so so uh, we went to the bank, we were ready to start building, and the bank said, we're terribly sorry, it's 2008, um, and the economy collapsed, and the banks had lost all their ability to fund. So they said, um, the underwriter said, we, we can't fund you anymore. So we now had this lease that we were, the, the clock was ticking, and uh, I came back, and I didn't know what to do. Michael had no money, Thomas had no money. Uh, we couldn't... We couldn't even raise money. I mean, at that time, the only way you could raise money, if you give a dollar, the bank will give you a dollar. So, mm -hmm. so it was impossible. So I, I got on my knees in the middle of that place one morning. It was a big concrete shell. And uh, I got on my knees and I began to blame God, you know, for why did you do this to us? I mean, my wife took the money and left me with the kids. And I mean, the church is putting groceries on, on our front door. I mean, it was, it was a, a terrible time. Uh, for, for anyone to have to go through. And so I, I got on my knees and I, I began to blame God and I started crying and I said, God, I'll do anything if you help me just build this restaurant. And um, I didn't realize how profound that was. And tears coming down my eyes, there was a knock on my front door and there was a guy there, his name was uh, Luis, and he said, uh, are you Chef Paul? And I said, yes. He says, well, I've come here to help you build your restaurant. And so like, oh, wow. Okay. Like, and I'm thinking, yeah, right. You know, this is a $1.8 million project. How are you going to do that? You know? And he said, well, I have no idea. Oh, I was at church and, and uh, our preacher was talking about the law of reciprocity. And if you think your life's bad, go help somebody else. And he says, we haven't worked in six months. Can't find any work because no one's you know, hiring or building, the economy had stopped. And he says, I have material, I have labors, I have a painter, I have a plumber, I've got an electrician. None of us are working. But this is what we can do. If, if uh, show me your plans. And so I showed him my plans. And of course, he said, there's no way we can do this. Because the plans had called for a half a million dollars worth of steel. Mm -hmm. He said, you're going to have to just get rid of the second floor and get rid of all the elevators and everything that you have in this beautiful design of, of, of your restaurant. And um, if you can get rid of all of that maybe we can work with the metal studs and the wood and the, uh, we, uh, we, right. we could figure something out